you want, you know, ratchets, cut a half inch, three eighths, and a quarter inch. Uh, my three eighths is really the only one I got two that I actually carry with me. Um, I got a, just a short guy for getting in some spaces. This is the one I use the most though, swivel. Uh, good breaker bar for getting the, if you can't get something off with this thing, you, you're probably gonna have to bring out the heavy artillery. Uh, this little guy, you know, it's kind of self-explanatory. Small spaces, a good long punch to get down into somewhere. A magnetic pickup tool will save your life. A uh, few pry bars, set of screwdrivers, set of uh, pliers, side cutters, strippers, crimpers, channel locks, a few different lo types of locking pliers. Uh, these ones, I use them to crimp off hoses a lot, uh, but you can actually use a, a couple of washers and one of these to pinch a hose too. Uh, hex keys, gotta love Harbor Freight. Um, I have these ones too. Oh, and I see you stole my scissors. I stole your scissors, <laughs> yeah. A uh, couple different hammers. At, at, that's a four pound sledge and then a 40 ounce dead blow. Uh, I use this one way more than this one. Uh, set of wrenches, uh, SAE from 3 eighths up to inch and an eighth. Uh, set of metric from nine millimeter up to 19. Uh, I have larger ones, but I, I carry- Yeah, but for basic, Just you for need basics, that. yeah, you can do most jobs with just these tools. A uh, set of punches, you can see I'm missing a few. A set of picks, a marker, drill bits, measuring tape. Uh, those two oil filter wrenches, you can get off almost any oil filter with, bet with between those two right there. Um, this thing right here is kind of a semi-luxury item, but uh, I've been using it for a few years now, and I, I really like it. Power probe. Um, it's a good investment. You, you can get by without one, but it really makes your life a lot easier. And what uh, about all your electrical stuff here? Um, it's just basic stuff, really. I mean, some primary wire, uh, the electric grease. This is more important, like if you live somewhere where you put the, where they put salt on the road, but California is not that important. Uh, good electrical tape, Scotch 33 plus. Uh, it's the only tape worth using, if you ask me. Uh, these heat shrink butt connectors are really nice. Uh, torch, little t propane torch. Uh, just assorted ends, different things like that. Uh, a backup. A Back up a uh, test light, you know, just good to have. This is a Harbor Freight. I, I think this thing is probably even free with a coupon. Um, shrink tubing, just little things here, extra terminals, uh, get you out of a jam. Uh, what about this multimeter? The multimeter is good for, you gotta have a multimeter. It doesn't have, that's a fluke. Um, even a Harbor Freight one is just fine. Uh, an adjustable wrench to help you out quite a bit. Uh, all the cordless stuff. I, I have two different links ratchets. Uh, out of the two of them, uh, I, it's kind of hard to say which one I use more. I, I would say I probably use the long one more than the short one, but just because I've had this one longer. I, I, I think if you were gonna buy one, I'd probably stick with the short one because sometimes this thing's kind of a pain to get into places. Um, you know, uh, as far as pneumatics, a good blow gun, half inch impact. Uh, this is a air grinder. It's not really necessary if you have a electric one, but it's kind of nice, you know, for tight spots. And if you don't feel like breaking on an extension cord, uh, die grinder, uh, this one right here. I wouldn't say it's like a hundred percent necessary. You can get by with punches and a hammer, but one, a nice air hammer is really not really good. If you're taking things apart and you got to knock something out, uh, you'll speed yourself up a lot with having an air hammer. Um, out of the, out of all these I use the most is this right here, the cordless three eighths impact. Um, I had the half inch one, but I actually traded it in to buy this guy. Uh, because it's it doesn't really seem necessary. It's it's too small for what I do and too big to fit into spots where this guy goes 
good uh, half inch cordless drill. I, I, I buy Snap-on and, and Ingersoll Rand, but, and this is a Cornwell, but it, it's not really necessary. Yeah, I would say like Home Depot brands like Milwaukee, the M18 Fuel is probably comparable to the, the Snap-on. Um, Makita, their, their stuff is good too. Uh, even the DeWalt stuff is is not bad. It's really whatever your preference is. I'd kind of stay away from Harbor Freight cordless though. What about your skill saw? If you're working on trailers at all, you need yourself a good skill saw uh, for doing pretty much any repairs, roofs, floors, doors. Um, you can cut pretty much anything with a skill saw. Uh, you get yourself a couple. I, I use Freud Diablo blades, but I use just their regular framing blades for wood and aluminum, and then they make a blade called a Steel Demon. I use that for steel. I mean, I've cut half inch steel with that thing and it cuts through it like butter. Oxyacetylene torch set is a must have. Uh, otherwise you're gonna get stuck on something if you don't have one of these things. Um, tire tools, I actually don't have them laying here. I have them somewhere else, but you know, a one inch impact, a duck build hammer, uh, a couple of tire spoons, um, the, those are all necessities. Uh, the different sockets for the wheels, for different styles of wheels, you need at least a couple of those. Uh, you need two bottle jacks, a set of jack stands, a set of impact sockets, uh, there's half inch and three quarter drive, a uh, set of heel bars, set of uh, snap ring pliers. Uh, these guys are all really important. Uh, this is all for wheel end work. This guy I've used probably more than anything else. This one's uh, double ended. It's for uh, for trailers. It has the that had the larger diameter uh, inner nut and the smaller outer. Uh, this one I use pretty often. It says the size on here, but they put it in the description. And uh, all these ones are all ones that I use really common. Uh, just different types of wheel end sockets, uh, seal drivers. Uh, I mean, you can get by with a block of wood, but most people raise an eyebrow when you start, when you break out a two by four to fix their truck. <laughs> uh, a set of, oh, the screw up set when you mess things up. <laughs> yeah, when you screw things up and you need to rethread something, you got to have, this one's from Harbor Freight, so I'm not that upset that some are missing, but uh, yeah, not having a good day when that thing comes out. Ooh, while we're here, let me show you our shop pets. I don't even know if he's out. Oh, I think he's in his little home. His name's Raymond, and he's an alligator lizard. Here, hold this. Let me see if he's in his little hut. Oh, there he is. Hi, buddy. Yep. <laughs> driven welder uh, this one is actually from uh, I think it's from like 86 or something like that it's a DEL 200 uh, Miller it's a diesel unit thing works pretty good yeah new compressor big enough to run a one inch tire gun this one's a 12 and a half horsepower um, this one is like from like the 1900s probably so <laughs> early 1900s no, it, it, it's it's maybe from the 80s too I, I'm not really sure but uh, Champion is a good brand. Ingersoll Rand is also good too. Um, I, I, even the Harbor Freight one that they got is not that terrible. But yeah, th this guy right here, just something as long as it's like 10 horsepower plus, you'll be good. Yeah. <laughs>